The Marianas Trench is bar none the deepest part of the ocean. I can hear you ask it now, just how deep? Imagine this, if you somehow throw Mount Everest into it, the top of the mountain wouldn't even come close to breaking the surface. At more than 10,000 meters deep, it's hard to imagine that any life could survive down there. But the fact is, animals thrive in that habitat. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of the most amazing inhabitants of the Marianas Trench. Number one will literally eat anything that it comes across, so better stay tuned for that animal. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Dumbo Octopus. It's an octopus that Walt Disney would have invented for one of his animated films. It is the Dumbo Octopus, which has a cute little Dumbo the Elephant-like ears atop its 30 centimeter body. This adorable animal also has precious wiggly eyes and a delightful puckered mouth that only adds to its cartoonish looks. This little guy may look dainty, but it's actually durable enough to make it the deepest dwelling octopus known to science. It prefers to make its home all the way down between 2,987 and 3,962 meters below. When you think of octopuses, you probably envision a bulbous mantle sprouting eight dangly tentacles. The Dumbo, however, falls into a category of so-called umbrella octopuses with web tentacles that give them, well, an umbrella appearance. The effect is something like a starfish with a balloon head emerging from the center. Unlike most octopuses, this species doesn't chomp and grind food with a beak-like mouth. Instead, it simply swallows its prey whole. So, if you happen to be on the Dumbo octopus's menu, it probably doesn't seem nearly as cute. Number 9. The Deep Sea Dragonfish If the Dumbo octopus is one of the most harmless looking ocean animals, then the Deep Sea Dragonfish is the exact opposite. With oversized teeth and a face that only his mother would love, if he's lucky, the dragonfish is an assassin of the unfathomable deep. Although it is a fish, it has no scales, but instead a slippery, slimy skin that resembles an eel's. Dragonfish, which are about 15 centimeters long, prefer to swim between 215 and 1,850 meters under the surface, where the waters are lightless and cold. Like many deep water creatures, this species relies heavily on bioluminescent body parts, which leverage internal chemical reactions to produce an eerie glow. This fish may then use this glow to communicate with other fish or to provide camouflage. It also dangles a lighted barbel or whisker-like protrusion from its lower jaw. Other fish are attracted to the barbel, mistaking it for an easy meal. However, in a flash, the dragonfish gets lunch instead. Some dragonfish have also evolved the ability to produce a red glow, an unusual color of light for ocean dwellers. They may use their reddish hue to signal their brethren, but it's more likely that they're using the red lamp to illuminate prey just before launching an attack. Number 8. The Barrel Eye Fish Light is a rare and precious thing in the Marianas Trench. The ability to detect even a glimmer of sunshine can mean the difference between catching a meal and being one. So creatures of the trench like the barrel eye fish evolve unusual features that use shreds of light to their advantage. How unusual are we talking though? Well, for starters, this fish has a transparent head. Inside that head are two sensitive barrel-shaped eyes which are most frequently pointed upwards. This allows the fish to see silhouettes of its prey. As for the clear head, scientists think this feature may simply allow the fish to collect just a little more light, which may give this strange animal a bit more of an advantage over its competition. The barrel eye fish wasn't even known to humans until 1939 when it was pulled from its habitat 762 meters below the surface. Even then, the specimens were less than ideal because they collapsed and the pressure changes from deep to shallow. Now that researchers have access to deep diving remotely operated vehicles equipped with lights and cameras that can withstand the pressure, they're able to observe the barrel eye more closely. Yet, this odd fish still holds many secrets, leaving scientists puzzling over its life cycle and reproduction patterns. Number 7. The Benthicodon Jellyfish are fairly common sea creatures, washing up on shores and clogging fishermen's nets, and also stinging us. The benthicodon, though, is an unusual type of jellyfish that prefers an environment far out at sea at depths of more than 762 meters, often right on the sea floor. These are compact jellyfish with a rounded top called the bell. The bell is typically smaller than 3 quarters of an inch to 2 to 3 centimeters in diameter, and it's laced with an estimated 1,500 wispy red tentacles, which it uses to whisk itself through the water. The benthicodon dines on small crustaceans and foraminiferans, tiny unicellular organisms. Although many types of jellyfish are transparent, the benthicodon has an opaque reddish coloring on its bell. Scientists believe that this hue may help mask the bioluminescent glow of the tiny animals that the jellyfish eats, hiding the benthicodon from danger. 
Like so many animals in the trench, this species remains a very large mystery to scientists. Number 6. The Goblin Shark Ah, a returning member of many of our list. If you've ever seen the iconic movie Aliens, you've been haunted by dreams of toothy, bald creatures bursting from your chest and snapping at your face. Now, picture a shark with just such a face swimming around in the darkest, deepest seas. Perhaps a bit pointier, but that is the Goblin Shark, an aptly named monstrosity from your worst nightmares brought to life. Goblin sharks have a protruding snout that looks like a pointy sword. Just below the snout are a set of protruding jaws that appear to be mismatched for the shark's face, as if evolution spun the wheel of ugly and the goblin shark lost in the worst possible way. What's more, these sharks aren't your stereotypical gray color. Instead, their skin has a distinct pink hue. If you're ever in the water when a goblin shark passes by, you'll find yourself dwarfed in size. They can grow to be as big as 5.5 meters in length. Fortunately, you're unlikely to encounter such a beast. These sharks typically cruise way down to 920 meters, and the older they get, the deeper they dive. As with a lot of deep sea animals, science knows very little about goblet sharks. No one knows exactly how they reproduce, and a pregnant female has never been captured. So, like the goblins of fairy tales, these fish remain a mystery, as well as a fantastic example of just how diverse life on Earth can be. Number 5 The Deep Sea Hatchet Fish there are a lot of odd-looking fish in the sea, but not many of them resemble humans' hand tools. The deep-sea hatchetfish resembles a silvery swimming hatchet. There are more than 40 species of hatchetfish, and all of them have ridiculously skinny bodies, and many of them have shiny scales as well, which adds to the metallic hatchet-like appearance. Their small fish and even the biggest types grow only to be about 15 centimeters long. However, their delicate looks belie serious ruggedness, because these fish are found in depths pushing nearly 51,500 meters. Hatchet fish have bioluminescent bodies and they can alter the brightness of their glow depending on how much light is filtering from above. In doing so, they're counter-illuminating their bodies in a clever camouflage technique. Their dim, self-produced light reduces their silhouettes, making it much more difficult for predators to spot them from below. Number 4. The Frilled Shark Frilled sharks look like a mix-and-match special from the discount aisle at your local evolution convenience store. They have the rounded body of an eel paired with a flattened head that would look right at home atop a terrestrial dinosaur. Perhaps that is fitting because, like many sharks, this species has ancient roots that extend back nearly 80 million years. The shark derives its name from six rows of frilly gills that grace its body, which grows up to 1.8 meters long, and just as notably, the shark wields more than 20 rows of these wicked, trident-shaped teeth that will tear into any bit of flesh that passes near them. Frilled sharks probably spend most of their lives near the ocean's bottom, and they like waters more than 1,200 meters deep. On the rare occasions that people snag them and bring them to the surface, the shark almost always perishes immediately, making it very difficult for us to observe their behavior and life cycles. For years, many people assumed that frilled sharks swam and hunted like eels. Some researchers think an awkward arrangement of internal organs would make that kind of movement impossible. Instead, they say these sharks may actually strike their prey with the action of a land-based snake making them, honestly, even weirder at this point. Number 3. The Telescope Octopus Like rays of the abyss, telescope octopuses float and dangle in the deepest currents of Earth's oceans. Unlike most octopuses, this one doesn't flit about on the sea floor. Instead, it drifts through the water column at depths greater than 2,000 meters, and it doesn't swim horizontally, but rather suspends itself vertically, perhaps to make it harder for deeper predators to see its shape. If you were lucky enough to spot a telescope octopus, you'd probably wonder if the underwater pressure was making you see things. Its body is so clear that it's nearly transparent. As well as that, between its eight tentacles is a delicate webbing that lends this species a ghostly shape. In that cellophane-like flesh, you'll see two protruding eyeballs unlike those found in other octopuses. These eyes provide water peripheral vision so that the octopus can see predators and prey alike. Like something out of a sci-fi movie, those eyes also rotate, perhaps offering the creature an even better way to see through the darkness of its deep haven. Now it's time for the day's best pick. And today we're going to look at an animal that is probably the poster child for the Marianas Trench. Number 2. The Sea Devil Anglerfish If a fish has the word devil in its name, it's a safe bet that it's going to be freaky. The Sea Devil Anglerfish does not disappoint. It features a whole list of fascinatingly strange characteristics. It's hard not to start with the sea devil's looks. As its name strongly hints, this is a fish that could have swum up straight from the below, with its misshapen body, razor-like teeth, and cold death stare. Although they're bizarre and scary looking, at least they're not that big. 
females generally top out at 20 centimeters long and the males are much smaller at 2.5 centimeters long. In a strange evolutionary twist of reproduction, the males actually fuse themselves to the females. Their fins, teeth, and eyes disappear, along with a few internal organs, ultimately turning the two individuals into one. What's left of the male's body essentially becomes a storage tank for sperm that will help fertilize the female's eggs when the time is right. As an anglerfish, the sea devil doesn't dart after its prey. Instead, it has a protrusion from its forehead that dangles a glowing lure to attack star-struck luckless animals. With its huge gaping jaws, the sea devil can actually devour creatures much larger than itself. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The Zombie Worm Officially, it's called the Ossidax, and its name as well as its feathery appearance make it seem like a plant from a Dr. Seuss book. But this worm also goes by a fiercer moniker such as Bone Worm or Zombie Worm, and it can consume the rock-hard bones of some of the Earth's biggest animals, including whales. The Zombie Worm agrees acids to help it access the inner contents of those dead whale bones. Then it uses symbiotic bacteria to convert the bone's proteins and fats into nutrients that serves as its food. Its feathery branches wiggle in the water, pulling in oxygen to keep the worm alive. Female zombie worms can grow up to be around 5 centimeters long. The males are microscopic by comparison, and females will collect a male harem of these tiny guys on their bodies. Eventually, the males find their way into the female's oviducts, and the female releases her fertilized eggs into the water. The worm's life cycle begins anew when the zombie worms go about their business of cleaning up whale debris in the ocean's darkest corners. Do you know of any other amazing animals living in the Marianas Trench? Let us know in the comment section below. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, everybody, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.